beautiful people welcome to the auto lifestyle this is your girl jackie if you are here for the first time please don't forget to uh, click on the notification bell also don't forget to subscribe but if you have already subscribed thank you very much i appreciate a lot let's continue growing together as a family and let's continue hearing and listening from the lord and growing together so today's topic is best from a beautiful story that's from the book of Genesis you know the story of Adam Eve and the Lord the fourth man I believe a number of us are familiar with the story but in as much as we are familiar with it I believe the Lord has got something for us today through this story so when we look at creation even the time that God was creating everything according to the Bible the Bible says everything that he created and he would say it loudly loudly yeah <laughs> that it was good he made the firmament, the waters, the sea, and everything, and he would always say, it is good. Even the time that he created man, he said, it is good. Man was naked, and he said, it is good. And according to that, there was totally nothing wrong with man's nakedness, because if there was something wrong, he would have made clothes for them. But he said, it is good. And we'll look at now this man who's Adam, who was so much in sync with God to a point where even the time he was charged with the responsibility of naming uh, animals and various stuff, whatever name he gave them, the Lord would approve of it. Like it was exactly what God was thinking about. So, you know, like the lions, okay, this is a lion and say, yes, that's a lion. He had the mind of God because he was one with God. And even his nakedness, there was totally nothing wrong. According to the Bible, Adam did not see anything wrong with the nakedness that he had. Totally nothing. He was comfortable and he was unashamed before the Lord, even in his state of nakedness. But when you look at the fourth man, after Adam ate the forbidden fruit, and then he was able to identify or he was able to notice his nakedness. And that led him to now hiding from the presence of the Lord. Because in verse 11 of chapter 3, we see Adam hiding from the presence of the Lord. The Lord came and caught him out. He was, Adam, he was like, Adam, where are you? And he said, Lord, I'm hiding from you. Those are my words though. Lord, I'm hiding from you because I am naked. And the Bible says that the Lord asked him to say, who told you that you were naked? And you know, it's like this man was walking in his nakedness all this while. He didn't not he didn't notice it. But the moment he ate the forbidden fruit, he saw something wrong with his nakedness. The nakedness he was so comfortable with all this while. At that particular uh, time, he saw something wrong with it. And the words of the Lord were, "Who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten from the forbidden fruit?" And you know, even when we come to this generation, you know, the Lord has made everything good. But because of the sinful nature, because of the fall of man, things that the Lord created to be good, we look at them to be bad. Look at a number of us who are so insecure with how we look. We are so insecure with, with what we have. We think we're insufficient. We think we're not able. We don't have the capabilities because we're looking at ourselves from man's point of view or from the flawed world's point of view. You know, even the good things that the Lord has given us, according to the flesh, they are bad. And you know, we have a number of people who can't even accept themselves, who are, you know, people even committing suicide because they feel like they are not good enough. This is coming from a place of not being in sync with God. And it's clear, even when you look at Adam, this man was in sync with God. He was in the presence of God and he was not able to see anything wrong with himself. But the moment he stepped out of the presence of God, he started identifying certain wrong stuff that he wasn't seeing all this well. And that's exactly what the Lord is telling us. The reason why we are seeing certain things that are good according to God to be bad is because we're not being found in the presence of God. Our, our perception has been, you know, played with. Sin has taken charge of everything to a point where we can't even appreciate the good things that God has placed in us. We're able to identify certain nakedness that according to God is good. You know, even just our capabilities, we feel like, no, I'm not good enough. If I had that, I would do it better. But according to God, we are enough. We are sufficient. According to God, everything that we have is perfect. Every figure that we have is good. But if you are feeding from the forbidden tree, trust me, you won't be able to appreciate what God has given you. So God is asking us, the vision that you have of yourself, where did you get it? you saying you're not beautiful, you're not good enough. Who told you? Begin to redefine stuff. And you know, it's going to take being found in the presence of God to be able to differentiate the voice of the enemy and the voice of God. 
but if there is no word of God in us if we're not being found in the presence of God trust me the enemy is gonna flood us with a lot of wrong voices and we're gonna give in to those voices so it's high time as children of God we stood up and said no to the voices of, uh, voices of the enemy and we can't just say no from just being you know a human being but it's gonna take the word of God dwelling in you, in you. it's gonna take you being found in the presence of God a perfect example is our Lord Jesus the time that he was being tempted in the desert he was human being yes but he was God also and he had the word of God in him to a point where everything that the enemy was trying to flood him every lie that the enemy was trying to give him he had the word he had the truth so we need to start renewing our minds. We need to be filled with the truth of God to a point where even when the enemy says you are this, you'll be able to say no because you are living by God's vision. You are living by God's standard and not what the world is giving you. Trust me. And the funny thing is, you know, even these lies are even coming from our beloved, uh, from our beloved, uh, from our loved ones. These lies that we have, you know, you're not being good enough, you're not being pretty enough, you know, having sufficient stuff. These things are coming from the people that we call our loved ones. But how else will we be able to identify that these are lies of the enemy if we're not being found in the presence of God? So the God, the Lord is calling us to being in found, being found in His presence. The Lord is calling us to a place of intimacy, to a place of oneness. When we become one with God, we'll be able to know His mind. We'll be able to know what He thinks about us. We will be able to appreciate the things that He has given us, and we'll be able to stand up and say no to the lies of the enemy. And even us being able to accept ourselves, being able to accept the love of God, it's going to take place when we're being found in the presence of God. To be able to love our neighbor and where the Lord wants us to love them, it's going to take us being found in the presence of God. So let's ask ourselves, this vision that we have about ourselves and life, where did we get it from? As long as it's not coming from the presence of God, it's not coming from God, it's flowed. And trust me, for us to heal, for us to begin to look at ourselves, accept the love of God, and just being able to walk in our purpose can only take place when we're being found in the presence of God, when we begin to renew our minds, to replace our flawed perception of life with the truth, which comes from the word of God. So if you are blessed by this word, don't forget to click share. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet subscribed. And also don't forget to share with the rest of the people. And also don't forget to leave a comment. Thank you very much. This has been your girl Jackie. Until next time, bye.